Good morning YouTube. Welcome to the Financial Information Channel. In this video, I'm going to explain one of the most important terms in the stock market, and that is diversification. So let's start with the video. At some point, we all have heard that we need to diversify our accounts, and that is actually one of the best advices that we actually take for granted. Now, let me explain what is diversification. Now, diversification is basically reducing or spreading your risk. And it could be one of the most important aspects when you start investing. And even in your personal life, that is one of the most important things that we all need to learn. Now, diversification not only applies to your portfolio, it can only apply when you start investing. But first, let's take a look how you can actually diversify your portfolio when you start investing in the stock market. So let's say they have a technology stock. Let's say they have Apple as a technology stock. Now, having the Apple stock is gonna make your portfolio safe, but you never know what could happen. I believe that in 2016 or 15, the Apple stock actually went down a huge amount. I remember clearly because I actually bought shares around 113 and the stock almost went down to around uh, 89 or 90 per share. So I lost a lot of money into the stock. However, I didn't sell any of the shares. And look at the Apple shares. It has gone up a huge amount in the last year and a half. Now, imagine if you only had the Apple shares, your account would have dropped a huge amount. Now having a second or a third stock is gonna make your account more safe. So let's say that you have Apple stock at the first stock and in the second stock, you have Tesla. Now Tesla is in a different industry. Now you can see Tesla has gone a huge amount. That would make your account more safe and at the same time, not take a huge hit. If you had Apple in 2016 when that stock went down, but at the same time, you had Tesla, your account would be almost even, and even, I think, made a profit. And that is one of the keys to make your account safe. When you're investing into the stock market or trading in the stock market, you want to make sure that you improve your safety on your account so it doesn't take a huge hit. Now, actually, let's take a look how you can actually diversify your investments and not in getting multiple companies. So let's say that you have a thousand to spend and you want to buy a snapshot. And just to give an example, let's say that each share in a snapshot is at $20. And that your opinion on a snapshot is that it's gonna grow really to a huge amount and you're gonna see a huge returns. The first thing that comes into your mind is that you want to buy the snapshot shares and spend the thousand dollars right away. Now, while that might look enticing, I would say that you want to start with a small position. So other reasons why you want to diversify how you get into the stock, it is not a good idea to spend a thousand. However, you can start with a position around 50%. That would be around $500 of the thousand dollars. And then you can actually spend a couple of days or a couple of weeks and see how the stock is moving. And depending on your risk tolerance, you can actually invest your remaining 50% into a snapshot or 25% at a time. Remember, it is never a good idea to rush into a company that you actually do believe because the company is going to go up regardless and actually that's going to reduce your risk of losing money. And one of the most important things, if you have less than $100,000 into a trading or investing account, I would say keep it to no more than five stocks into your account. You don't want to feel overwhelmed with the information that you need to keep on those five stocks. And there are multiple ways that you can actually diversify your account. One could be like getting an international stock like Alibaba, that is a Chinese stock. And the other easier way would be to invest into an index fund. Now, both of those options give you the ability to invest into different type of um, companies and it's gonna make your job a lot easier to find stocks. And like I mentioned earlier, you can actually diversify on your personal life. But first, let's talk about your personal finance. On the personal finance level, 
you can actually have a savings account you know in case you have an emergency and you have your checkings account just for daily or monthly purchases and the reason why you want to have a savings account is because i always say that you want to start investing into a stock market not as a regular income but uh, as a side income now in your personal life you can actually diversify your eating habits your working out habits so you don't actually get bored now diversification works in your workout routine as well and i'm gonna tell you why so let's go over an example let's say that you like to run every single day so what happens if you sprain your ankle in that case you won't be able to run at least for a few weeks or days or even months now when you diversify you actually make sure that you have different workout routines you can actually run one day you can actually work your arms the next day you can actually work your chest the following day you can work out your back and the next day you can work out your shoulders and that is how you can actually diversify your workout routine so it doesn't feel like being the same all over again and of course it might take you a little bit to get adjusted but at the end you know that you're working your complete body and that is what athletes or bodybuilders do they actually diversify they work out certain parts one day the next part the second day and different parts on the following days and remember you can incorporate other type of workouts like a yoga for example yoga is going to help you to meditate and clear your mind now let's take a look how you can actually diversify your eating habit now for your eating habits you can actually diversify and eat prior to breakfast or after breakfast eat a snack and you can actually eat different type of meals throughout the day and those meals can be different it just depends on the type of taste and things that you like to eat now as you can see diversifying plays a huge role in our normal lives i always say that you want to keep it fun and entertaining so that way it doesn't bore you out right away now remember this is just a small advice i took into account a lot of the things that i was doing prior to investing and i applied it into the stock market so it actually made it easier for me to diversify into different companies nowadays you can find a lot of blue chips companies and it makes it super easy to diversify and even though that is hard to diversify sometimes i actually do it because it keeps me in an even place and you know that is very tempting to go all in in one of the stock companies that is actually getting a huge return but then i think about it all the risks that that might present for my account and that is what the stock market is all about just reducing your risk and don't be greedy because being greedy can actually reduce a huge amount of value into that account now let's talk about how diversifying can apply into a business or into a job and diversification works like doing a similar hobby like youtube for example and when you're doing youtube videos you want to make sure that you're diversified that you're talking of different topics now it does not mean that you want to talk about technology and gear review when you have finance channel but it just means that you want to talk about different aspects and themes on your finance channel for example you can talk about the stock market in one video you can talk about how to make money on the other video how to grow your business how to create a business and similar topics and this brings the other topic mark cuban said i believe in 2013 or 14 he said in an article diversification is for idiots now keep in mind that sometimes words are just words you want to take a look into their actions now look at mark cuban for example he owns the dallas mavericks team and at the same time he has different companies under his name now i'm going to put on the screen what mark cuban actually owns so you can actually get an idea how he is diversified and it just goes to show you that actions speak louder than words well that is going to be everything for the video i just wanted to give you this very important advice now remember this is your decision to either invest into a stock market or if you don't want to invest and keep in mind this is a very simple term but very important and please i'm going to do a q a video soon leave in the comment section any questions that you want me to respond i might be able to select that question and include it into the q a video 
please make sure to subscribe to the financial information channel and i'm gonna thank you once again for watching the video and commenting on the video thanks again have an excellent day and take care my friends